All right, so welcome back, welcome back. Today's project, we are going to prepare our candles for Kwanzaa. So you don't have to go out and buy a black candle, three reds, three greens. I'm going to just paint mine. I'm going to add a little bling to them. So what I have in front of me is a two boxes of candles. And it really don't matter what color they are. And I think I got these from Walmart for about a dollar. Um, so you need two sets. I think there's four in each one. Yeah, there's four in each one. And so we need three green, three reds, and one black. So seven candles in total. Also, what you'll need, something to hold your candles while they're drying. I have these big clips here, so I'm just going to leave mine in here to let them sit and dry. But this works just as good if you have binder clips. They'll, they cover more surface, but this is area I'm really not concerned about, so we're not going to glitter that part. It's just a top half because this part hangs out in the candle holder anyway. So I'm not so worried about covering the whole candle. So with that being said, just use my, my goal is to always use what I have and not buy more. Because we already consume enough. And so, so I'm just going to go ahead and set my candles up. I already have these big clips here. And put each one this little holder that way I don't have to touch them anymore and it looked like I may have ran out and that's okay because I think I still have my clip here and so this would be my reds over here and I have one for black and I think I have one more yes I do right wonderful so what i'm going to use also is small containers and i want a small container for each of my uh my glitters so again we talked about red black and green so i have one for each and i will prepare those when it's time to do those and then i have my glitters here my green whatever green you choose i have two different colors my red and my black and so I have a lot of black in here, so I may just use the black from here. So that'll be good. Also, you, what you want to do is make sure that you cover your surface. Now, you notice you don't see my cutting board. I have a plastic um, tablecloth here, so you want something that's going to protect your table. Okay. I'm going to just grab a little piece of paper since I'm going to be using this black glitter. It's going to get all over the place. Also, you want some paint brushes, paint foams, whatever you're comfortable with painting. And you want some Mod Podge. And so I have tons and tons of Mod Podge. I have the big gallon. So that would be awkward trying to use that. And so I don't need a lot because this is for the black. So I'm just going to pour a nice portion of blue in there. Now, I don't want to pour too much because... My glitter is going to be in here as well. So, because I want my glitter to sit in the glue and not sit on top of it. Since I'm going to be burning this. Oh, didn't I say I was going to use this one? Yeah, I did. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> and so I'm going to just pour some glitter in here. And this is um the glitter that I'm using. Again, use what you have. Use what you have. Um. Oh, that's nice and thick. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. I really like that. <clears throat> nice and thick. Is um, Martha Stewart's Fine Glitter. I just have a lot of it. Just a lot of it. And I'm ready to start painting. And I'm just going to just paint this all over. All over. All over. And you may find that you probably need to coat this several times which i will but this is just to get you started and i feel like this paintbrush is a little heavy i 
and I'm just going to go through and paint each one of these. And I feel like I may have made too much of a mixture here, but we shall see. And I'm just going to keep going and keep going. And these will need to sit at least a good 24 hours. And I'm just putting this on here really, really thick. As thick as my candle can hold it without it running. The Mod Podge is pretty thick, so this shouldn't run too bad. But if it tends to run, you probably have to come back with layers. <clears throat> I'm going to try to get this bottom half. I may have just made just enough. All right, that looks pretty, pretty good. And I kind of like how it has, um, you may not be able to see this in a camera. It made my camera really lumpy, almost like, um, you know how candle, the wax kind of runs down the candle as it's melting. And um, it gives the candle a nice textured look. Well, the Mod Podge is doing it because it's so thick here. And uh, so it's making it kind of lumpy and bumpy. And I kind of like that texture. It's pretty cool. All right. I think I'm going to add a little bit more at the top. Just knowing it's going to run. All right. So I'm going to set my paintbrush in my water because I don't want that to sit in my water. <coughs> I'm going to set that container to the side. And guess what I'm going to do? I'm going to actually put a little bit more glitter on this anyway. Why not? I'm curious. I want to see what it's going to do anyway. So I am just going to glitter and more glitter. Nice full coverage. Who says she doesn't like glitter? I love glitter. I love glitter. I love planning glitter, as you can see. That looks cool. I love it already. And it has not even dried. Woo, bam, I'm ready. All right, so I'm going to set that aside. That's my black. And we're going to do this for each of your candles. So I'm going to do my reds and my greens here. And so, um, just clean up as you go along. Make sure you, when you're using your paintbrush that you are cleaning them. Put them in water immediately so you can use them again. Um, there's no need to keep buying paintbrushes. All right. So the black is set. I am ready to move on to my other colors. Woohoo! I'm going to set that aside. And also, if you don't have any clips, you know, a candle holder would work just as fine. You know, so just, again, use what you have. I had those set to the side. So, again, use what you have. All right. Off to the red. So, I have three reds here. And, oh, I've never used this color before. Okay. And because I'm going to use so much, I'm just going to take the top off. All right. So I'm going to go ahead and prepare my red. And I'm going to go ahead and put in some glue. And I know I'm going to need quite a bit of this because I have three candles. And I'm not, I'm just guessing. I'm just guessing at it. Glitter. I'm just guessing at it. I'm just guessing. And let's see, let's throw that. Oh, that looks just like Christmas. That bright red, perfect. I wanna use that for my candles. All right, so I'm gonna do the same thing I did for the black. And I am just going to start layering this on really heavy. 
Now, what I'm doing is pushing the wick out of the way because I don't want it to get on the, the wick. That's where you light your candle. All right. Now, I realize when I did this, I don't have as much glitter like I had in the black, but that's okay. I'm not so worried about it now because I like what I did earlier with the black. And that's just coming back with more glitter. All right. And I may probably didn't need to make it as heavy, but we'll, we will see. We shall see when it dries. And that black is looking really good. I think I won't pack it as heavy because I'm starting to look at the black and it's starting to slide because it's, it's so thick. So I may have to reposition it as it dries so it doesn't run down the candle. Okay, so I'm not going to be as heavy with this one. But that's what crafting is all about. Experimenting, seeing what works, what doesn't work. And this is the fun part. I love this part. All right, put a little bit more here. And guess what we're gonna do? <clears throat> Shake that off a little. I'm gonna come back with my red. And now I wish I had my top on. <laughs> oh, I can see a mess starting to happen. Let me put my cap back on. <laughs> uh, yeah. I like glitter, but I hate cleaning up glitter. Oh my God. So I better put my cap on. I can see a mess happening. All right. So there we go. And... It's controlled quite a bit that I have to really, really shake it on. And this is making me work a little bit more than I want it. Okay. That looks beautiful. I'm happy. I am happy. Oh, I see a blank spot right there. You see that? Right there. I just need to get a piece of glue right in there. There we go. Looks like I missed quite a bit on that side. All right. Uh, sprinkle a little glitter. There we go. All right. Off to my second candle. Another red. Well, my third candle, actually. All right. And we buried it on. So I will be speeding up the camera. And um, I'll see you when we finish, okay? Keep going, keep going. Keep going. Yep, I'm missing a few spots. There we go. And let's glitter away.
sorry about that. I had noticed that my camera has stopped. So I'm glad I did take a look. So you may be have missed the green, but that's okay. And I've also went ahead and tilted my candles going upside down so they could dry, okay? Um, and I have them hanging on the edge of the table because I noticed that the glue was slipping. And I also decided to sand paper, just rough up the candle a little because mine's is really smooth and I'm thinking the glue would adhere to it a little better than that. So use a piece of sandpaper. Don't use your block because this is wax and wax will be hard to be hard to remove. So I'm just roughing that up. Okay. Now I'm gonna go ahead and put the glue mixture on. And I'm just pushing that wick out of the way. And so I'm not putting this on as heavy as I've done the other ones. Because I don't want a lot of slippage. I liked it, but it wasn't staying in place. So I'm gonna keep this thin and I'm hoping that sanding it, just, just roughing up that smoothness on the candle will help. And I'm making sure that I'm hitting all those surfaces. All right. And again, I'm gonna come back with some Glitter, more glitter. Let me tilt this on the angle so I'm not using so much. There we go. All right. All right, that looks good. Looks good. Okay down here uh -oh. all right and like I said instead of leaving them standing up to dry I put my eyes hanging you can see them right here hanging on the edge of the table hanging down like candles and um, I've placed plastic bags a plastic bag just to catch anything that falls so you may want to make sure you do that and see if that that keeps everything in position and it looks like it's doing so so that's a good thing okay all right so we're off to our last candle <laughs> and that's not like the last diva take the charm but i think we've narrowed this down we, If it helps or not, but we should find out so that the next time we'll know. All right, so glue mixture, making sure that wick is out the way, and I'm just laying it on. I'm glad I didn't use so much glue this time. I really didn't need it. All right. I'm really coming to the tail end of my glitter. And I shall make this work. Okay. I'll scoop up all that everything that's left so that we do not have to make more and I'm just going all the way around and let's hit this one more time one more time one nice cleanup scoop 
We'll get this bottom in as much as we can. And that looks pretty good. I'm loving it. All right, paintbrush into the water. And set that aside. And glitter, glitter, glitter. And I heard something fall, so I'm glad I did. Put that plastic bag down. <clears throat> Alright. There we go. Should be a little access off. And da 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 da. There we go. And I'm gonna lay that. Put this in here as well. And let them dry. I think I just messed up one of my reds right here. Okay. I'll let that sit and dry. All right. I'm going to just clean this up. And that's it for today. So thank you for tuning in. Make sure you clean your paintbrushes. And tomorrow, we're working on the candle holder itself. The Kwanzaa candle holder. So I can't wait. Under five bucks. Can you believe it? But I'll see you tomorrow for that. Thank you for tuning in. Until our next project. Have fun.